Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Gladiator Beast Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Chaos Impact. Wanted to do an update to the Gladiator Beast deck that got a good amount of support from the new set Chaos Impact that really does help just to make it easier to special summon out a bunch of different Gladiator Beast monsters and then contact fuse into all the different fusion monsters we have for the Gladiator Beast deck. We also have a new Link monster that definitely does come in handy for all the different plays you can do in the deck as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the Gladiator Beast monsters, I'm running two Gladiator Beasts Bestiari. When this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can target one spell or trap card, destroy that target, and at the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can shuffle it into the deck and special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck except Gladiator Beast Bestiari. So the Gladiator Beast monsters share this effect, being able to special summon a bunch of different Gladiator Beast monsters from your deck after one of them was attacked or, you know, performed an attack. I like to run two Bestiari. It's needed for your fusion of gladiator beast gazaris so running it definitely does help for that contact fusion play but you can easily get this card out onto the field with contact and just the different effects of the gladiator beast monsters so i feel you only need the two in the deck there aren't too many three ofs in this deck for the gladiator beast monsters since they are searchable and you have all their options available to get them out onto the field some of them being with Gladiator Beasts, Augustus, with this one. Uh, when this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your hand and face up defense, shuffle it into the deck during the end phase, and at the end of the battle phase if this card attacked or was attacked, you can shuffle it into the deck to special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck except Augustus. Augustus, once again, helps with one of the summons from the extra deck being Gladiator Beasts, Andabata, another fusion specific requirement needing Augustus but also just a great way to get more gladiator beast monsters from your hand out to the field though then you can use for some of your different uh, special summons whether it be for your link plays or one of your contact fuse plays but I feel any more Augustus and you know it can get cloggy since it's a level 8 monster in your hand we have other options to shuffle back cards into the deck including gladiator beast respite if you have cards in your hand you can't use so that definitely does come in handy when you open up cards like Augustus because you definitely do want to special summon this card using your other different Gladiator Beast monsters. I also run two Gladiator Beasts Noxious with this one. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do, change the attack target to this card and uh, you know then proceed to a damage calculation. This card cannot be destroyed by that battle, and if this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can send one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck to the graveyard to end the battle phase. And if this card battled, you can shuffle it into the deck, special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck, except Gladiator Beast Noxious. So Noxious helps to protect you from direct attacks but also very useful for getting out gladiator beast tamer editor since you need two level five or higher gladiator beast monsters with augustus and noxious being the main requirements for uh, that monster and getting them out very easily noxious definitely does come in handy with that uh, and also the shuffle back effect also and then for some of the one ofs that I run in the deck, I run one Gladiator Beast, Lakari, just a power boost card, but also needing Lakari for Heraklinos, so I can summon this card out to the field. I also run one of the new Gladiator Beast, Atorix, with this one. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can send one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard, except Gladiator Beast, Atorix, until the end phase. If this card's level and name become the same as that monster sent to the graveyard at the end of the battle phase, if this card battle, you can shuffle it into the deck to special summon one Gladiator Beast monster. So this card can take the name of any of the Gladiator Beast monsters you need for your fusions. So very, very useful with this special summon. You only need the one though because you can easily summon it with all the other different Gladiator Beast monster effects. Same with Gladiator Beast Vespacious. Vespacious is also needed for the new fusion monster uh, requiring it. I actually didn't pull any from my sneaks and no one was willing to get rid of theirs since it looks like a lot of people are excited about the Gladiator Beast as was I. But uh, for that monster, Atronius, I believe is his name, you need uh, the Spacious for the requirement for that card as well. It's great because it makes your opponent unable to, you basically choose what monsters your opponent attacks when that fusion is out on the field. But the Spacious can be easily summoned as well from your hand, um, just by special summoning. And the fact that you can contact fuse with it means you have another option to get it back onto the field um, when you use another attack by a Gladiator Beast monster.
And then for a couple other of the one ofs, I run the one Gladiator Beast Mermillo just for the easy destruction uh, when you summon this card out of uh, Monster. And also one Gladiator Beast Darius. Uh, with this one, when it's special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast, you could target one Gladiator Beast in your graveyard and special summon that target. Its effect is negated, but it still gives you the monster option. So I like to run the one ofs of these cards just for having those options available to us. But a Torix definitely does come in handy being able to take the names of any of the ones I have on the field. And then for some of the higher ups, I run three Gladiator Beasts Andal. With Andal, it's a Rescue Rabbit target, so definitely useful there. But you can always shuffle back the other copies of Andal, uh, you know, for a Contact Fusion, giving you more targets for Rescue Rabbit as well. Uh, so very, very uh, useful for that as well. And speaking of Rescue Rabbit, I run three of this card. Just being able to get out two Gladiator Beast and all gives you your link option for that play, meaning you can go into either your uh, Test Panther, which is definitely a useful link monster for the deck now, or Gladiator Beast Dragasis, which can definitely help as well, depending on the play you go for. But most of the time, I go for Test Panther. But Rescue Rabbit with and all can help set up that play very easily with just one monster. And also, I run the three. Three Ash Blossom. Now, I don't have uh, Test Tiger or Rescue Cat in the deck. If you wanted to run Rescue Cat, I would take out the Ash Blossoms and the next spell I run for the spell lineup for the Test Tiger ratio and the Rescue Cat ratio for those plays. If you wanted to run them in the deck as that option, those would be the cards I would take out. But other than that, just another hand trap spot to fill in. But one of the spots to take out for uh, Test Tiger and also for the Rescue Cat. The other one being the next card as we move along to the spells, which is Gladiator's Proving Ground. You don't need the search as much in this deck as some of the other plays. It helps when you need to add a specific one to your hand. It doesn't search all the higher level ones. It only adds level four or lower. But like I said, this would be the one spot to swap in for some numbers for Test Tiger and Rescue Cat mixed in along with the spot for Ash Blossom if you want to add those cards in. Like I said, it's not as needed Proving Ground, but still useful if you don't have the Test Tiger or the Rescue Cat option. And I also run one of the new Gladiator Rejection. I only run the one of this card for the fact that Test Panther is a searcher when it's Link Summon and adds a Gladiator Beast uh, card. So just remember, uh, with that, you can search, uh, I don't believe you can search Rejection. Uh, your opponent cannot target Gladiator Beast monsters you control with card effects except during the battle phase. If a uh, Gladiator Beast monster is special summoned from your main deck except during the damage step, you can special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck with a different type from that monster you control in defense. You can only use this effect of Gladiator Rejection once per turn. So it's a continuous spell that stays on the field. That's why I decided to only run the one of it. If you wanted to bump up any of the numbers and go for like the two Test Tiger spot and the three Rescue Cat or go to and two your additional spots can also be filled in by the gladiator proving ground removal and the ash blossom removal for any more rejection you may want in the deck but I also run the two Gladiator Beasts Respite, just the shuffle back. If you have some Gladiator Beasts in your hand you want to reuse, like Andal, if you can't do the Contact Fuse, putting Andal back in your deck for the Rescue Rabbit definitely does come in handy since obviously you need those normal monsters for Rescue Rabbit's play. And I also run one Gladiator Beast United. It's just a quick play card that lets you fusion shaman by shuffling them back into the deck. It counts as a contact fuse since it ignores the summoning condition, but gives you that fusion monster for your Gladiator Beast monsters. So one of this definitely is useful. But the newest spell, which I think is one of the best in the deck for sure, is Gladiator Beast's Comeback. Uh, special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your hand or graveyard with different type from the monsters you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle. The fact that it can't be destroyed by battle is a very important part since obviously after it is attacked, it's basically a Wabaku with the extra plus of giving you a Gladiator Beast monster. So you don't have to worry about that and just an easy special summon of that Gladiator Beast monster. If this was a quick play spell, it would be all the better, but it's still great at a normal spell. All you have to do is summon a different Gladiator Beast, different type monster, which can easily be done since we have so many different types in the deck as well. And also to work with Gladiator Beast and all, I run the three Unexpected Die with that one additional and all, if we can get that and then use Rescue Rabbit, that gives us three Gladiator Beast monsters to work with, giving us a Link Summon, and then if we can get one more Special Summoned out, a Contact Fuse for the Fusion play. And I also run the one Monster Reborn, just another easy special summon from the graveyard for all of our plays. And the three Call by the Grave, uh, the special summoning from the deck is a big part. So if your opponent Ash Blossoms you, it can really hurt your play since you have to invest your Gladiator Beast Monsters into that play. So Call by the Grave is definitely needed in the main deck for sure. 
And then moving on to the traps, I run two Gladiator Beast War Chariot. When an effect monster's effect is activated, if you control a face-up Gladiator Beast monster, negate the activation and destroy it. So easy to stop your opponent's monsters on the field. You almost always have a Gladiator Beast on the field. So two War Chariot definitely does come in handy for stopping your opponent's monster effects. And being a counter trap, they can only stop it with other counter traps as well. And lastly, one Gladiator Beast Charge. You target face-up cards on the field up to the number of Gladiator Beast monsters you control with different names and destroy them. Just more pop and you can have a lot of high attack Gladiator Beast monsters out on the field very quickly. So this takes care of a lot of your opponent's pesky cards while some of your other ones like Gazaris can help take care of the rest. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. I run one Gladiator Beast Herakonos, just a great way to take care of your opponent's cards by negating the activation, uh, just needing Lakari and two other monsters to make it, being a 3,000 attack point monster. Also one Nerokius, three Gladiator Beasts to make this one as well, but just different options with both Herakonos and Nerokius, depending on what you want to make. For more of the generic plays, I run one Gladiator Beast, Asadari, and the two Gazaris, when you can make them, definitely does help with the destruction. When it is fusion summon and then just being able to special summon more back onto the field and i run one gladiator beast and abata and one gladiator beast tamir editor just another good option to go for for when you need the higher up level ones for those plays and when you have augustus on the field and then for the Link Monsters, the newest Link Monster is Test Panther. This one is so good for the deck. You need two monsters, including a Gladiator Beast Monster. So as long as you have the one, you can even use Rescue Cat or, uh, you know, Rescue Rabbit. And if this card is Link Summon, you can add one Gladiator Beast card from your deck to your hand. You can target one Gladiator Beast Monster you control, shuffle that Gladiator Beast, and another monster into the deck. And if you do Special Summon one Gladiator Beast Monster with a different original name from your deck, this is treated as a Special Summon by a Gladiator Beast Monster's effect. You can use the effect of Test Panther once per turn. This option just helps to set up so many plays. Very, very useful as well. <coughs> Excuse me. When you talk so much on a loop, you definitely do wear yourself out. But Test Panther, uh, like I said, makes the plays. If I would have an additional one, I would take out one of the nightmare spots I have in the extra deck. But I also run the one Dragasis just because it helps with the special summon and the protection of your Gladiator Beast as well. But both of the arrows are definitely useful for your uh, plays in the deck for your fusion monsters. Also the one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Cerberus, and the one Nightmare Unicorn. If you wanted to take out the uh, Phoenix, I think it'd be the best spot for an additional Test Panther. And also uh, for the anti thesis, I believe, or uh, the one that uses the uh, fusion. Like I said, I didn't have the spot for the spacious fusion monster. I just couldn't pull any at the sneak, but if you were to add that in, which I definitely do recommend, I would take out one of the Gazaris for that spot as well, since you really only need one since it can easily be shuffled back and reused. And then for the Exceed Monsters, just one Digusto Emerald it helps with the Andal shuffle back and just the E rank four is the easiest ones to make in the deck. And also one number 39 Utopia and one Utopia the Lightning for the big attack plays as well. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.